All right, so I am going to be moving in about two weeks out of this place. So let's get a tour of my depression nest before I pack it up and take it somewhere else. I don't like this bun. We're going to get rid of the freaking bun. Oh, God, that's not good. Oh, God. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> okay, that's... Let's just not have the camera on me this video. Now that I'm actually trying to film the video, I'm like scared to actually film the house because it looks like shit, but uh, here we go. I'm moving the camera. Looks good so far. Well, let's, <laughs> let's move it down. All right, uh, so this is just, this is the downstairs. It is very cramped. Um, originally, the upstairs was going to be the downstairs. Um, Wait, no, um, originally, um, so, like, the couch, uh, the chair, uh, I don't know why I have that thing, so, these were supposed to be upstairs, and they were originally, until, like, probably this year, <laughs> I do have Tourette's syndrome, by the way, um, so, yeah, this is also the living room now, because I just, I don't know why, um, there's the TV, these are supposed to light up, but I think they're broken. And then this is my bed. And there's uh, a Gengar my brother made. And this is just some tapestry. I think this is where um, the kitchen table was supposed to be. When they made the apartment, they had that in mind. But um, no, it's a perfect spot for a bed. There's Cat. The TV, this is the gaming setup. Um, and then these, there's some interesting stuff over here. Uh, I keep earrings in here. Um, I guess I can show my earring collection or something later, um, if y'all want. This is supposed to be like a nautical theme. Uh, please get in the focus. Okay, this is pretty cool. Morning, night. Come on, come on. Night, morning, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and that. <laughs> And then I wanted to show, so I just have like blood tubes. I got these from school because I went to school to be a phlebotomist. I was a phlebotomist for a little bit, but now I'm not anymore because I was really bad at it. <laughs> and I couldn't do it now because I have Tourette's and I don't think that would go well for anyone. Then, a bitch. <laughs> So, like, for example, um, this, there's a vacuum inside, you stick a needle in someone, blood comes in here because of the vacuum, this gel at the bottom, so this is an SST tube, so it's really cool, uh, I can't show you because there's not blood in here, so if you sucked up blood and then centrifuged it, so the serum would be on top, ideally serum's supposed to be like this, I don't know, this like, gold, yellow, piss color and then you have this the gel in the middle and then the red cells at the bottom it's pretty cool um, I spend a lot of tubes at work I'm pretty good at it uh, so what else more earrings and jewelry I think this is the stuff I don't really wear uh, I think those big yellow hoops are pretty cool but I don't wear them and then uh, just more nautical shit I got microwave reveal. I got the microwave. Um, this is really cool because none of the buttons work except for the. Oh wait, not that button. This you can only add thirty seconds. Can I clear? Okay, only those two buttons work, <laughs> and it's on the floor. <laughs> uh, coffee maker works though. That's that's all I need. So this recliner, um, this was upstairs for the longest time. I moved it down probably a couple months ago. So I had a bunch of people over. We we're gonna watch Attack on the new Attack on Titan one hour special, and then uh, everyone canceled. So now I just have this down here. I mean, I like it down here, but it's like it's really, really cramped down here. Oh my god! Um, just laundry basket with clothes. Um, 
I don't want to show it. I don't really, I don't want to show it. Uh, here's the kitchen. It's awful. Um, there's just no room for anything. Um, so I just have like pans stacked on top of the the stove because there's no like not a lot of counter space. Um, okay, this this is kind of cool. All right, I bought these when I was really, really, really depressed. Um, ironically, because I thought like seeing like I will sur like these are on clearance, so they're really cheap. I've that thing being around a lot of these. I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. Plants. Uh, I thought that would help my mental health. Turns out it didn't. Um, it turned out just like getting off antidepressants lessened my depression because it's really cool how, at least for me, antidepressants made me horribly depressed. Um, ba -ba -ba, more stuff. This used to look cool and then it just kind of fell into disarray. Here's some cat toys, uh, some rollerblades that I've never really used. Here's some soccer, some soccer veals. Uh, t -t 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 -t. That happened when I was moving. Moving in. Um, t -t 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 -t. So toolbox. There's Joe's sword. There's Joe's sword. Um, a dead guy gave it to me. Pretty cool. There's the Ohio pride flag. Uh, there's the bathroom. There's, um, I didn't realize this, but there's a washer and dryer hookup in here. And I didn't know that. And then when I got it, I was like, oh cool, there's a washer and dryer hookup. Never got a washer and dryer, so that kind of sucks. This room is just miscellaneous shit. <laughs> this used to be the living room. TV used to be right there. Uh, couch was over here. And the recliner was over here. But never really got used. Um, I mean, the client got used, but I don't know. It's just more convenient to have it downstairs. Uh, miscellaneous. Here's part of the CD collection. These are just albums that I really, really like. And then shells from a vacation I took. And then there's some, my record collection. It's, there's not a lot. I don't have a record player. I don't know why I bought these, but Florence and Machine. Uh, this is embarrassing. Um, yeah, I have that. That's like the first band I got into. That was the first album I really liked. Um, I mean, when I broke out of only being able to listen to Christian music, Coldplay kind of sat, kind of slapped. Uh, there's a Courtney Barnett single, and then a Courtney Barnett album. Oh, I do have another. I have um, eons on vinyl, um, but that's not at this house. There's the closet. Ooh. I'm not straight, and I'm probably not cisgender either. There's some posters there right above the litter box. Um, they here is, I don't know if this like, this might be my entire CD collection. Um, God, I have a lot of CDs. Uh, here, my friend gave me this, and I hung it up, and then one time one of them, these are like different sections. So one time in the middle of the night, one of these fell, and it was really scary. They still light up. What are these? Okay, they go right here. And, and some of them work. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've, I haven't turned these on in a while. This is bringing back some nostalgia. God. Here's like a triple nunchucks I got from a dead guy. I need to stop calling him the dead guy. I, I was his caretaker for like a year and a half. Um, these are, I stuck these on, these are from when I used to drink, and now I don't. Here's another Ohio merch. Yeah. Okay, I'm back downstairs. One more thing before I forget. Um, I was going to do a Tourette Movie Night YouTube video review, um, Phoebe in Wonderland, uh, Mothers in Brooklyn, and then I think there's like back of the classroom somewhere. Uh, where is that? 
I'm sure it's here. I'm just not seeing it, and everyone can make fun of me in the comments for not seeing it. Um, I was going to do a review of those to see how well they portray Tourette Syndrome, because I heard they do pretty well. Um, but uh, <laughs> I started filming the video like two years ago, and then I bought a DVD player and I couldn't get it to work. So now it just... Just sitting in my drafts. It, it, it feels so weird walking around and giving a tour of this place knowing that this probably will be the last video I film here. <laughs> and then also just, it's kind of a send off um, documenting um, my departure from what has been home for the last two years of my life. Um, I am looking forward to getting the hell out of this place. I've it hasn't been easy 100% of the time here. Um, I've dealt with like the worst depression in my life in this place. I've dealt with addiction here, like the worst of that addiction. I mean, uh, luckily I did end up recovering and I'm one year sober um, from alcohol. And then <laughs> during my time living here, um, I made this YouTube channel, and then also I got diagnosed with Tourette Syndrome, which I, for years I felt like that was what I had, but actually getting a diagnosis was very validating. Like, it's nice to say, oh, this weird thing I do, now I actually have a name I can put on it. Also an important paint. Also an important thing that happened at this apartment, I went to the Tourette Association of America's Rising Leader Training and got to meet other people with Tourette Syndrome. I, I had to travel by myself by airplane, which, ah, oh my god, I was, that was so scary. I hated that part. I never want to do that again. I mean, it didn't even go wrong or anything. I just... I just have so much anxiety about that. Even thinking about that makes me anxious. <laughs> but I met um, other people with Tourette Syndrome for the first time. I've, I mean, obviously I've seen people on the internet taking, but I've never seen really anyone in life, in real life before taking. Which was... It, it was nice to go in a room and to be able to tick without anyone <laughs> really being able to judge me. <laughs> oh my god, that was so nice. Um, there was someone there that actually recognized me from YouTube. Uh, Chloe. I think their name was, yeah, it was Chloe. Shout out to Chloe. Um, it's several months late, but I'm finally shouting you out in a video. I did... Uh, Another very scary thing, I had to go um, to DC into all those government buildings and go to certain representatives and tell them, hey, you should fund um, this bill. That was very scary to do, but I did it. So I'm proud of myself for that. Um, yeah. Other things that happened at this apartment, I got a cat. He's very shy. He doesn't want to be in the video right now. I got into my first relationship as an adult, and then the relationship ended, um, so that was a learning experience. Um, I made a TikTok video that got like 1.7 million views. <laughs> um, I'll probably play it here right now. If you find yourself stabbed, whatever you do, do not remove it, or this will happen. Simply uh, actually, you should um, take it out and give it back to the guy who stabbed you because stealing isn't very nice. Barney would not like it. I also got piercings for like the first time. Yeah, so my first piercing I ever got was this nostril. Um, I did DIY it, not recommended, but it somehow healed. <laughs> I did some, uh, some other DIY piercings. Um, I think every other one of those did not go well, um, but all the ones I have now on me are professionally done. Um, so the first one I was done professionally was my, just these, the first lobes, the, the regular earrings. Um, 
I don't know why a non-Christian has crosses in their ear, but whatever. Um, and then after that was the septum and then Medusa. And then the second lobes. These are still healing. I got these like four months ago and they're still healing. And then last month. I'm filming this like the last month of July. So last month is carrying a lot of weight. Uh, I got the third lobes and also the vertical abray done. And they're all purple. I think that's it. I think that's a wrap on this place. Oh God, I'm getting kind of emotional. Um, this is probably the last video I'm filming here. This is a... I got two weeks left here, but I'm still, you'll see me next time at my new place. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching this weird, wacky, chaotic video. Um, please subscribe, like the video, all that, and have a good day. Bye. Farewell, shitty apartment. You were okay, I guess, but I don't know. Also not that great. Oh well. Uh uh. Uh uh. Goodbye. I need to shut this shit out. There we go. Okay. Fuck you apartment. We'll transition to better things. <laughs>